Hi, this is Realtor Mike Thomas talking to you about a super exciting video how to get a free house. Okay, I'm sure you're going to be quite impressed, so please stay tuned for the entire video because we've got some great things to tell you that uh, no one else is telling you. Okay, some secrets to give away that I think will just blow your mind. Okay, so how do you get a free house? How does that work? Um, is that even possible? I know that there's a lot of videos out there. Uh, try to explain things to you, but we're going to make it so simple. It's so easy. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, you're in the market. You want to look for a house. And you want to buy it and move into it. That's great. So what you do is you go to a lender. You get pre-qualified for a mortgage. Um, depends on whether you're a first-time home buyer if you have not bought a house in the last uh, four years or something like that uh, you're considered to be a first-time home buyer even if you've owned property before um, and so you may only put down three and a half percent on an FHA or five percent on a conventional and for a second home it's generally ten percent and for an investment property the banks would like to see 20% investment of your own money uh, down on a piece of property. So, how do you get this free house? How does that work? So now, you find the house you like, and you buy it. You move into it. After a couple of years, you decide, well, this isn't the, the house for me. Maybe you're earning more money. Maybe you've, uh, your family is growing. So, you're thinking about selling the house and buying something bigger or something smaller depends on what your needs are but instead of selling the house what if you rented it out and you rented it out for the next 30 years and had somebody else pay for that house for you could be one renter that could rent it for the next 30 years or it could be 30 renters renting it uh, one year at a time uh, over the next 30 years, but nevertheless, at the end of that period, that house will belong to you free and clear. So how do you get it free? You're thinking, oh my God, I got to put down three and a half percent. I got closing costs. I got all of these things that is going to be money out of my own pocket. So how does that work? Great. Here's the secret. If the market is on fire and there's a lot of properties moving, um, a lot of times what you can do is make an offer to the seller uh, at a higher price. Uh, maybe they're asking $300,000 and you're thinking, wow, my closing costs, my down payment and everything is going to be about $20,000. Let me offer the seller um, $20,000 more and have the seller pay for my closing costs or have the seller contribute to my down payment. And that's the way that that will work. So it all depends on the lender. It all depends on the, the type of loan that you're getting. Some will allow it and some will not. If you're a veteran, there is zero money that you have to put down on a house. And now you just have some closing costs, which are pretty minimum as well. But if you're not a veteran, then the next thing you're looking at is FHA and conventional financing. Um, and when you do that, you simply have to talk to your own officer and find out, hey, can I, can I have the seller contribute money to my closing costs? Can I have them pay for my closing costs? All of it. Uh, can I have them contribute that to my down payment? And so the money out of pocket for you will be very, very minimum. And at times, it could be zero dollars uh, on an FHA, VA, or conventional depends on what the seller is willing to do. Now, if the market is very strong and it's very hot and it's on fire, they may not be that apt to do that. But if the market is, in, is no, under normal conditions, and we're going to talk about conditions, so please stay tuned for my next video, is market conditions and whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, you're going to want to watch this video. It's going to be amazing. So, that's the bottom line of getting a free house. Shift that cost to the seller, maybe by offering a little bit more money in price. It'll be less money out of your pocket, and you're going to be getting it 
Uh, you're going to be living there for maybe a couple of years, and then you're just going to rent it out. And when you're renting it out, uh, it's free because the time that you're living in the property, you don't have to pay rent. So whether you're paying rent on a mortgage or you're paying rent on um, on your house or a mortgage payment on your house, it's the same thing. So that's the beauty of that. Please stay tuned. Um, like our video. Uh, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you're going to be notified of any upcoming new videos that we're making. And share the love. Uh, please share us on your social media network uh, and be the hero.